Oh, what's up guys dave here and welcome to my channel where i share tips and tricks for developers awesome so today i want to share with you guys how you can connect to a remote mysql server from localhost using ssh tunnels or specifically ssh local port forwarding so this can be useful when you want to connect to uh, restricted services or you know services that are behind a firewall on a remote network okay and you can do that from localhost using an encrypted connection that is uh, done by that that is done for you using an ssh server okay so let's dive right into it and see how it can actually work all right so i'm going to ssh to our remote uh, host and then create a user and a database and then see how we can uh, access uh, that user and the database from uh, localhost okay so i'm just going to log into our mysql server on remote host okay all right there you go okay so now i'm going to create the user called dave a little fast here okay uh, we're going to grant privileges okay and quickly flash the privileges ah awesome now uh, what i'm going to do i'm just going to log out of the server then log back in using the newly created user is Dave password developer okay so now I'm just going to create a test database all right show uh, databases show databases okay uh, my internet is a bit slow okay so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to create uh, an ssh tunnel from localhost on port 3305 to our remote host okay so that is possible using uh, ssh local port forwarding okay that's the command uh, so what you see here is uh, the dash capital l uh, followed by local port that we are binding on local uh, local host and then the remote host now this is confusing but um, this means local host on the remote host okay so if we are connecting to a different machine on the remote network then we specify the ip address of the remote machine on the remote uh, network that the ssh server has access to then this is now the, uh, the remote port that mysql is running on which is 3306 and then this is our ssh server so the ssh server and uh, mysql are running on the same box okay so um these options uh, dash f simply means that we are forking the process into the background uh, dash n or means uh, we are preventing reading from standard in uh, dash n it simply says that do not run remote commands and then dash t disables tty allocation okay so this is how you create that um, ssh tunnel uh, so we can access uh, my, my, the remote mysql server from localhost okay so there it is i just want to confirm that uh, something is running on 3305 and indeed uh, it shows here ssh is listening on on uh, 3305 so anything that connects to localhost 3305 is forwarded to uh, our remote 
server on port 3306 through our SSH box, which is dave.david.com. Remember, the reason why we have localhost here is because the remote MySQL server is running on localhost. That's what it means. Quite confusing, but that's what it means. Okay, so now we're going to connect to our remote MySQL server uh, using the MySQL client. Okay, so the command is uh, it's the standard command that you know of, uh, the user there and the password. But now we have to specify the port. Remember the default and MySQL uses 3306, but in this case we are using 3305. The reason is I have a local MySQL server that is running on localhost that, you know, I don't want to conflict. Okay, and then we are going to specify the port as TCP because by default MySQL uses uh, socket connections. All right, so if you don't put uh, this port here, it's going to, if you don't uh, specify the protocol, sorry, um, it's going to complain that, uh, you know, it cannot connect uh, through the socket uh, my, my SQL D dot soc. Okay, so you're going to have to specify the protocol TCP right there and when you do uh, Yeah, we are in our remote my SQL server. Okay So I'm just going to show databases right here And there you go. So we can just create a database Let's call it test 2 and um, when we go to our remote MySQL server, uh, that database should be able to show. I'm sorry. Okay, so test two is right here. And when we create uh, database test three, database test three should also be reflected on our local uh, connection. Okay, it's right there. So this is really a nifty, uh, very interesting uh, tip or trick that you can use to basically just uh, connect to a remote MySQL instance from localhost uh, through SSH tunnel or SSH local port forwarding. All right, so I hope this has been helpful to you and if it has, uh, kindly uh, like and subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of any videos that I put out there and uh, If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below I'm going to list some resources and some links in the description as well So you can read further. All right. See you guys in the next one